Welcome to What's Trending with Tire Review, presented by Apex 2022. I'm Maddie Weiner, and on the podcast today, we're joined by Jason Yard, Nexon Tire USA's marketing director. Jason, welcome to the show. Thanks, Maddie. Good to be here. So, Jason, Nexon moved its headquarters to uh, just up the road from us in Akron, Ohio, in Richfield uh, this past year, uh, last year. So um, what was the decision behind that move? And can you tell us you know, how it's been strategic for, for Nexon's business? Yeah, it's, it's nice, uh, you know, like you said, right up the street. It's literally like two miles from here. So that, yeah. was, that was a nice uh, drive down here. The, the strategic move was really uh, a number of factors. One, uh, I think, you know, we, we had this R&D center that we created in 2019, um, opened a brand new facility and it's beautiful. It has all the accoutrements that you'd want in a nice uh, complex. Uh, so we're able to bring customers in. We're able to have good meetings and, and also meaningful dialogue mm -hmm. uh, in the area, you know, close to the rubber industry. Right. Um, but it's also a collaborative effort with our R&D team and with our OE team so that we're all kind of talking the same language and we know what we're what each, each other is doing. I mean, it's it's nice to be able to collaborate with that team, see what they're working on um, and then just, you know, share what we can with customers that come in, you know, as far as o OE or, or R&D mm -hmm. development. That's that's really been beneficial. Um, I think another factor was just the the cost and and uh, things associated with California. Oh yeah, um, yeah. You know, for it's sure. it's definitely been a welcome mm -hmm. uh, pay increase for a lot of the folks that moved. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So so yeah, a lot of factors there, but it's really about you know synergy and being able to use this facility for for the whole company and being able to show it off. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I'm I'm <coughs> I, I know I was there for the grand opening, but definitely uh, looking forward to visiting you guys again. Yeah. Um, and, and so you mentioned, you know, obviously greater collaboration among, you know, product planning teams, um, any other synergies that you, you can touch on by having, you know, kind of everyone together under one roof? Yeah, I mean, the, the OE team is, is, um, is always working on, you know, what the next fitment is mm. and stuff like that. And, and a lot of that R&D collaboration um, translates into replacement tires. And right, so, yep. you know, they're not only making... Uh, tires for OE fitments, but they're also taking some of that that same technology or advancements that they're working on into the replacement tire, and so we kind of get a heads up of it, and we can ask and and maybe even give direction sometimes of what our customers are saying, um, what they're looking for, so that you know that we put all, all you know kind of all of our uh, assets together to, yeah. to to bring tires out. That's awesome. Very cool. Well, I do want to ask a question about uh, Nexon's OE business, but I first wanted to touch on. Uh, one of Nexon's newest tire launches, the mm -hmm. uh, Rodian ATX, which mm -hmm. was launched, uh, I think, at the beginning of this month, yep. if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. You are, you are correct. Um, so can you describe how that tire fits into Nexon's light truck product line? And um, what improvements have been made from its predecessor? You know, what were you hearing from dealers that, hey, we, we want this tire to do this or that, you know? Yeah, so we're pretty excited about the, the Rodian ATX. It's it's a game changer. Um, you know, the, the, um, the biggest... Uh, um, growth market is really the light truck and SUV market. Um, mm -hmm. That's no secret. And so, you know, being able to have something that's that's um, new and great, um, you know, you, you got to stay at the front of it. That's that's a no-brainer. Um, the the AT Pro actually, its predecessor, actually mm -hmm. won several awards, um, design awards, and and um, and also uh, functionality awards um, in the past several years. So we didn't want to change it dramatically, but obviously. Times change, compounds change, you know, right. technology changes. So mm -hmm. it was time to upgrade it. Um, it has a three ply sidewall in most sizes, um, and and that that rigidity gives uh, the user, you know, more towing capability, more load, um, thing, and more psi. Things that you know not everybody is looking for in a in a AT tire, mm -hmm. but it's a it's an all around tire for everything. So if you want that more aggressive look, if you want you know more towing capability, you have all of it in one tire. Yeah. Um, the biggest change or improvement I think is is kind of the tread design and look and feel of it and then the sidewall design. You know, we we got the feedback that the AT Pro was a great tire, mm -hmm. but maybe needed to be a little sexier or right, right. a little more, yeah, you yeah. know, just cool on the sidewall. The aesthetics. People yeah. people look for that when they're looking for an AT tire because uh -huh. they're not using it off-road every day. Right. So yep. it's the occasional off-road use. 
um, but they want it to look cool. And so that's what this does. It has a cool uh, um, lizard skin type of texture Ooh, on nice. it. nice, okay. And there's dual sidewalls. So if you want a more conservative look, you flip it around when you mount it. So ah, that, okay, okay, that is a unique it. kind of next and feature that we've started on most of our light truck tires is a dual sidewall so mm -hmm. that you have the option of um, you know, more aggressive or more, con more conservative. So awesome. we're pretty Very proud cool. of it. We're excited. It's getting, getting good reviews so far. Great. Well, that, that's great to hear. Yeah. And the, the dual sidewall, I was reading about that, looks really, really cool. Um, I know on the uh, MTX, mm -hmm. uh, I think there were names for different parts of the sidewall, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, that, and that's been well received. Um, we did it with the HTX2 nice. as well. Yeah. Um, just having, you know, uh, just different choices. Everybody has their own personality. So. Right, right. Yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. Uh, Nexon also released some, some tires at SEMA last year. Yep. Um, I believe they were the Enfera Sport R, which is a, an extreme UHP tire, and Correct. the Rodian HTX2. Correct. Um, highway terrain tire. So, um, can you kind of give me an overview of these products and, you know, uh, the reason behind their release in, in those specific categories? I mean, those are pretty big categories. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I mean, we, that, the since coming to to Nexon, um, I've I've learned that we have quite the enthusiast following uh, yeah. uh, in 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 sport racing, and so um, the the Sport R, the Enfera Sport R, is really just the next evolution of our Enfera uh, SUR 4G. Mm. Great, um, you know, tire for for amateur racers, for the the weekend guy who just wants to, you know, have good grip on the road. Um, and then also the professional, you know, we, we, su we support um, Formula Drift and some other mm -hmm. SCCA uh, racing. And those, those tires are perfect for keeping you pinned to the asphalt and, and, um, and giving you, you know, longer than usual life. Um, you know, all the, all the great features that you want in a racing tire, a high, high performance tire. Right. So it was just really the next evolution. And we, we found uh, through a lot of testing, third party testing and some of our drivers that we work with that, it actually gives it improved grip and speed, and so mm, they're okay. they're pretty happy with it so far. Um, the uh, the HTX2, the Rodian HTX2 that you mentioned, uh, same thing with the ATX. It's the evolution. We've had the um, the HTX uh, for a number of years, and it's OE mm, fitment okay. on several vehicles. Um, but the it, it needed to evolve, and and you know just like anything else. The biggest um, you know takeaway from that tire is is really the all all weather. Uh, capability, ah, okay. not just you know some rain and um, you know the occasional trail, but it's got the three peak mountain certification. So okay, yep. um, that's that's something that most highway tires can't claim, um, and especially in a um, high mileage, you know, up to seventy thousand mile um, treadwear type of tire. So for sure, yeah, that one um, is is also a game changer. It's just been doing really well for us. And it goes back to that, you know, light truck and SUV market is, is growing, expanding, we got to right. keep up with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know SEMA <clears throat> put out a report recently that just predicted, uh, you know, the light truck market, especially CUVs to just, you know, yeah. keep expanding like they are. So very cool products in, in uh, both of those segments and, and including the ATX. Awesome stuff. Um, yeah. I, you, you mentioned Nexon's OE Fitments, mm -hmm. and I did want to ask you about that. I know the GTX, which we haven't um, necessarily talked about, but uh, has snagged Fitments on four OE Fitments on four SUVs mm -hmm. slash CUVs. So that's, that's great for, for you guys. Yeah. Um, so tell us how these Fitments and your OE business at Nexon um, have affected Nexon's visibility in, in the market. Um, how's that, uh, you know, um, that... Uh, visibility and marketability of your products kind of trickle down the line, I guess, you know? It's it's a huge synergy and that's something that, you know, is, has been a main focus uh, for a number of years. It's, it's we really entered the OE market in the U.S. Um, around 12, 15 years ago. Okay. Um, and we're one of the fastest growing OE fitments in the U.S. Um, as far as models that we've, that we've um, been attached to. So, uh, that that has really pushed our brand and obviously brand awareness um, and you know as well as anybody if you have tires on your car that say one thing and you need replacements you're gonna put, you're always gonna look at that brand again right um, yep. um, uh, unless there was some kind of issue but um, we we're we're always firm with the fact that if you if you're comfortable with it and it works well it's gonna work again for you mm -hmm. so um, right. that's always been a main main focus. Um, 
yeah, we, we continue to push um, the, the OE fitments. We have relationships with about a dozen uh, OE manufacturers oh. in the mm-hmm. U.S., um, and, and it's continuing to grow. We, we, we're um, getting fitments on at least two to, two to four um, vehicles every year. So wow. it's, it's been good. Yeah, that's great to hear. That's awesome. Sort of like a what, what's next for Nexon. Um, you guys, you know, have been pretty uh, heavy with your light truck tire. Like we talked mm-hmm. about um, tire releases, obviously others. And um, yeah, I was going through and, and so, so many new products have been launched recently, which is yeah. great. So um, for dealers out there, uh, can you maybe describe what Nexon's focus will be for the America's business uh, this year? Uh, you know, with with me and in, in marketing, um, the part of the reason I, I gravitated towards this brand is is really the amount of opportunity with mm-hmm. brand awareness. So, brand awareness with Nexon um, definitely can improve, and that's one thing we're really pushing for. Aligning with um, more sports teams, um, doing more sports marketing, um, doing more with our our uh, motorsports um, throughout. You know the different um, the the different motorsports um, programs that we have. Mm-hmm. And then really just, um, you know, getting the name out as, as much as we can. We're, we're working on um, right now uh, an Overland event um, with Overland Expo and doing a ride and drive. Um, that's an industry, you know, that, that is continuing to build. The segment is, is really blowing up and, and we want to be part of it. And so that's something that supports that light truck and SUV market. Mm-hmm. And, and we're excited to, to kind of align with it. Um, we're doing a ride and drive next month and then later later on this year with them. Um, you know, we're going to continue to, to be present at, at trade shows like SEMA and, mm-hmm. and do things, um, you know, in the industry that, that keep people, uh, keep next on top of people's mind. That's awesome. That's so great. yeah, I mean the the tire launches are are kind of out there now. We've mm-hmm. had we've had three significant ones since SEMA, right? Um, and we have one more winter tire that that um, we launched as well. Um, and so four new tires in a year for us is a big deal. That's um, huge. Yeah, so, that's a lot. <laughs> so we, we we've tried and strived to do at least one a year for the last twelve years or so. Mm-hmm. Um, and this year with four of them, there's just a lot of activity, a lot of excitement around it. So we're we're just trying to get get the the, uh, the materials out there, make sure people are aware of it, and and talking about it. Yeah, yeah, and I know one way you guys do that is with the Nexon Garage, correct? Correct. Yep. Can you maybe describe for people who might not know, like what that is? Yeah, Nexon Garage was really born out of um, you know our our, our dealer feedback. Mm-hmm. Um, dealers said, "Hey, I want a, a one-stop shop for all of your resources. You guys have a lot of good collateral. You have uh, you know some some really cool technology pieces that that you've done, and you know to talk about uh, a little bit, you know our our." Uh, dealership network, our Nexon mm-hmm. network, yeah. um, our our social media um, and social platform allows a, a, a dealer to kind of piggyback on our social media, which is great. Yeah. Um, and then all of our you know logos, um, photos, videos, all that stuff is housed in one place on the on the garage. And so it's an it's an easy place for them to say, all right, here's what I need. Grab it and go. Yeah. And, and they're not searching for it. They're not calling the rep saying, "Where do I go for this?" So. Right, right. It's it's really um it's really been well received and and um it's a good good resource. Yeah, that's great. Now you mentioned um, four <clears throat> tires. Is that right? Over just in the past year. I mean, mm-hmm. we're filming this uh at the, towards the end of June, mid June mm-hmm. right now. Um, any any more launches in different segments coming up that you can share? I didn't know if that was something Fortunately, that... I can't. Okay, uh, we're too, we're it, too early it. on. on, on uh, there's always going to be something. Um, right. I, don't, I don't believe we're having anything uh, for the rest of this year, but there's definitely some things in the works for, for next year. Yeah. There's always, there's always um, you know, improvements, and, and um, there's a few segments, very few segments, that we're um, kind of in and out of. Um, but, but, yeah, we're definitely looking for... Um, Looking for a few more launches in the next year. Awesome, very cool. Well, we're excited to you know learn about those as they come up, and we'll definitely be looking out for those. But I just want to say thank you so much for yeah. coming on the podcast today. Thanks um, for having me. Anything else that you'd like dealers to know about Nexon or anything that maybe we didn't touch on? Um, no. If you if you uh, haven't seen the the new Rodian ATX, make sure you hit up the website. Make sure you hit up your your sales uh, person or, or customer service. We'd we'd be glad to talk to you about that or anything else. Excellent related. Awesome. Well, Jason, thanks so much. We really appreciate your time. Thank you, Maddie.